Thanks very much for coming to an internal training at the Bridge Cable Channel. So we're going to be taking a look at the fiber testers from Jonard, I believe it's called. Um, so these units were about $600 a piece. They don't come together. So you have power meter, you have your light source. So how does that work out? Light source. You could do the old school. I've had a lot of people come in here experts or you know i just shine a flashlight or a laser through it and if it gets good it's good enough nope uh you need to have deliverables so whether or not you're using a fluke or these affordable testers my father said half a loaf is better than no loaf so but before you work with these guys mdf idf vice versa main point secondary point where you're running the fiber couple things is so you have your LCs in there before you test you're gonna make sure your wave length is correct multi-mode you guys can google all the things so we're just gonna um, test on this one you want to pick a wavelength of multi-mode single mode whatever the case may be you want to reference you're gonna hit the reference button it's gonna zero it out now this is the third time because I had some grammatical errors. Is that a word? And it's already been zeroed out, but this is what you do. Just hit that zero, you'll get this. Now you will see some fluctuations in the real world. This is just in the office. Once you have it zeroed out, you hit save. Now you'll notice that there is a five. Hopefully you can see that a five showed up. That's, it's not really like a big party or anything like that. When you're ready to test again, when you switch out the different strands, switch the different strands, you got a, somebody over there, the light source, you hit save again and it will do another test. There's another video on how to download that with the USB. So again, light source, power meter, and you're looking for signal loss, um, making sure that's in the acceptable range. Now, we'll show you guys one or two tricks. What we have found, and we were at internal training with the fiber guy. Um, we found a bridge cable that shorter patch cables do not reference or zero out the meters properly. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of weird. So what we usually do is we have a coupler. And in this uh, thing, we just have a long patch cable. But basically from your endpoints, you've already ran the fiber, you've tipped it and everything like that. So again, uh, try to have some couplers and shorter patch cables and that should suffice. Keep everything in the little gears. Uh, love to have some comments on this. Uh, maybe we'll do a single mode test, but it's basically the same thing. Reference, save, and the deliverables are there. Clients are happy, you get paid, but more importantly, you have the concrete authority that your fiber is good. I've been in a lot of situations where reverse polarity, transceivers don't work, somebody didn't do the switch. You need to provide deliverables. Anybody who's running fiber that does not give you deliverables, you need to make a call to somebody else. Feel free to call us in the Philadelphia, New Jersey area. We love fiber, fiber splicing, you name it. Uh, 877-832-1206. Talk to you soon.